<laughs> there you go. Ron Bridges takes care of his animals on B. Ridge's farm in Clinton, hand feeding this cute fella named Curly. At B. Ridge's, they raise goats, chickens, and host agritourism events on this pretty land. But before he went into farming, Ron and his sons served in the military. And so we, we developed the, the saying, uh, we're healing the land as we heal ourselves. Because both my sons came back with, uh, you know, the wounds of war, uh, mental, some physical. And they, it, this farm has really helped them overcome those. And that got me interested in saying, well, how, who else can we help? That got Ron involved with the National Farmer Veteran Coalition. And now he's president of its new Tennessee chapter. The organization connects veterans and active duty military with our state's agricultural resources. Jim Artman also served our country and is now working with the Tennessee FVC. He says farm work is a good fit for veterans. You know, just being outside, working with your hands, being productive, producing a product, um, and then, you know, just having your hands in the soil is very therapeutic, working with nature. B. Ridges has hosted events for veterans, giving them the opportunity to experience what agriculture can do for them. Agrotherapy, growing things, watching things develop, having to care for things outside yourself are all great ways to help veterans. This effort to help veterans is linked to Tennessee AgriAbility. That's a UT Extension program that dates back to the 90s, working with more than 2,000 farmers. AgriAbility is for producers who face challenges such as a physical disability. Here program leaders help this Overton County farmer obtain this lift, which gets him on and off his tractor. If an injured veteran wants to farm, AgriAbility will be there. We give back. A lot of us want to help veterans and we don't know how. Um, so the network across the state, the ones that know how to farm, we're doing classes with the Tennessee New Farmer Academy, helping beginning farmers. Agribility's role is if they're a disabled veteran. At B Ridges, the hope is COVID eases up and they'll have visitors soon. One of our best ways of thanking a veteran is to support them after their service is up. And that includes choosing agriculture post-military. This is Charles Denny reporting.